I come across this scenario where uh, a woman who's newly married has a lot of grievances against her mother-in-law or her in-laws. Uh, it could be related to violation of privacy, it could be about feeling alienated, it could be about not being able to keep up to expectations. A lot of uh, times people, uh, you know, women come in with the, these sort of uh, issues. A lot of these issues uh, which are presented as in-law issues um, tend to sometimes, uh, after a, a couple of uh, sessions of counselling, uh, come across as a little bit more than just that. Uh, it tends to have some sort of uh, bearing on what's really happening between the couple. So for instance, uh, I may present it as that I'm angry with my mother-in-law, uh, but my real disappointment and sadness and hurt is stemming from the fact that my husband doesn't have a take on it or hasn't expressed a take on it. So I think uh, when one tends to have an issue with in-laws, um, a lot of times it is also about hearing things which are not said. So I made, uh, you know, my mother-in-law came in and said that my sister-in-law cooks this particular dish very well. What did I hear? I heard it as, I don't cook this dish well. So sometimes I'm hearing things which are not said uh, because I already may have some baggage as far as this relationship is concerned. Um, so the first tip that I would give for people, you know, dealing with issues like this is, if it's not said, you haven't heard it. So if it's something that needs to be told to you, for instance, how do you assume that she's disappointed with the way you dress? Because you've uh, heard her speak about somebody else who dresses very well, or you've uh, you know, seen some non-verbal cues, maybe she shrugged or maybe she hasn't acknowledged. Uh, if it's not been said to you, don't assume that it's something that's been expressed. I think sometimes we tend to also uh, work ourselves up uh, around things which we assume we've heard. So I think that's one tip that I'd like to give. Also. What, is, what are really your expectations from your husband vis-a-vis uh, -vis the situation? What do you want your husband to do? And uh, is it reasonable? Ask yourself. I think some, some amount of rationalizing with self is helpful at this point. Speak to your husband. Tell him what you're feeling. Uh, tell him why you may be feeling let down by him. And hear him out. And when I say hear him out, really do listen to him actively without sort of um, just uh, you know being there i think uh, these are things to remember while dealing it's not an easy relationship i must admit it's a complicated one um, there are issues of uh, being possessive there are issues of uh, you know trust and there are issues of ownership all of those issues are there and they're difficult ones uh, it's easy it's not easy but it is possible to negotiate through them uh, i think uh, just uh, keep an open mind. I think uh, just uh, also keep boundaries very clear in these relationships and things should work out. So this was about managing your relationship with your in-laws, keeping boundaries. If you'd like to know more, please do tune in to MPIL.